our government has already made it clear that these actions of the government of Italy are not acceptable. They violate every rule of diplomatic discourse and call into question solemn commitment given by accredited representatives of a sovereign government to our Supreme Court. This cannot, by any standards, be in the interest of any bilateral relationship that has to function on the basis of trust. Our government has therefore insisted that the Italian authorities respect the undertakings they have given to the Honorable Supreme Court and return the two accused persons to stand trial in India. If, if they do not keep their word, there will be consequences for our relations with this.